CTR here. Man, look at the mess we got going on. It's snowing like crazy. We got our trees chopped down that was in the way. I'll show you them in a minute. But ain't that a pretty sight right there? Just awful pretty, ain't it? A little gas mark there in the door. Mad Envy, she got a little snow on her too, see? These cars get used. We're trying to get a little bit more shop built to put them in, but this is where they sit. Last couple of years, they both sat outside. Predominantly. Yeah, people think I'm a little bit nuts because I come out here and I look these old cars over their humble beginnings I get to looking at some of them that I've already done and you tend to forget where they are what you started with they're kind of beat up damaged rusty but I get inspired to look at them in that condition and I start thinking about what I can do to make them better whether it's a 56 two-door handyman, it's a pile of rust, or an old four-door wagon. I started with way less than this to make old Mad Envy up there. This one here, I've already LS swapped it. It's got disc brakes and power steering. It just don't look like much. Sometimes I wonder whether I'm better off to just let them be patina and protect them with some clear coat or to shine them up like brand new. It kind of depends. The cars kind of speak to me. It's a form of artwork. Don't let anybody give you any crap about driving something that doesn't suit them. It needs to suit you. I feel like cars kind of have their own personality. I talk to them. I go sit with them. I look at them out there suffering like stray cats come in. We try to feed them. Just go look at your old car. Get inspired. Go do something with it. Make it what you want it. This old 55 handyman right here, man, it's a great start. It's got all kinds of cool going on. It's got a lot of rust in the bottom of it. But man, look, it's still all there. It's a good start. Just got to stay after it long enough to complete it. Yep, we're still a-doing it. It's still a-snowing out here. Just coming on pretty good. We've been building us a pad here by 26 by 48 to add on to the back of the shop. Oh, smoke smells good off that firewood. Poor old bass boat sitting over there. In the wind. Just a waiting to be used. It's a dang shame. Old champion bass boat out there getting snowed on. That's what we got to do with. But we got a hell of a pile of wood going. I had to take down some trees in my yard. About crashed my fence. Had a big old ash tree. These bugs killed it some kind of beetle or something killed it and I had to take it down lightning run in on my other two yard shade trees had a big old spruce right there and one of the biggest magnolia trees I've ever seen but we saved all the seeds off of it we could so maybe we can germinate them and plant some more That's what we're down to, just trying to clean up the mess. That's why I ain't been real whippy on the stick with building stuff. You gotta kinda do that as the weather lets you in. People. Hope y'all are having a good day out there in YouTube land. Sometimes we just get so tied up with doing things that we forget to have fun. Or we forget 
about old things. I hope watching these videos is a benefit to all you people trying to work on these old cars. You get discouraged, stay after it. You can win. You can overcome them problems when you're getting your butt kicked. It, it happens to all of us. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Come back and see us. We're going to have some more video up here in a little bit. We've got quite a bit of content going on, but it's not ready to produce yet. We're not finished with those projects to bring them along. And I started the next one and the next one, but sometimes that's the way it works, getting parts. Anyway, we'll see you in a flip.